Hey guys, welcome to Hobby Problems. We're gonna be going over what I think is a good setup for my primary and secondary pistol carry concealment, all that cool shit. Uh, that is my duty built setup, my shit hit the fan setup, whatever. And just how I think you should set these things up, right? If I didn't already say that, now you know what the video is about uh, today on Hobby Problems. things first I'm gonna dive into my sig uh, you've seen a few videos on it I'm pretty proud of it because it was kind of a gold weapon of mine so starting up top we have the slide which is stock comes with the factory night sights out back here we have a Holosyn 507k reason I went with that is because it actually has its own set of iron sights as well that has a 2 MOA dot and it is a variable reticle you can either do dot or circle dot um, grip module on there. I put some talon grips for a little bit of extra traction. Out front is a Streamlink TLR7 sub with a SIG primary rail. And I went with that because this is actually the most powerful uh, uh, subcompact light that has a good form factor on the market. Definitely has more than enough horsepower to get the job done. You can see with carry ranges, maybe having to clear your house. The trigger has a really sharp, crisp reset. It's and I scrunched that grip up even a little more with the uh, Katana Maglo by Empire. I put that bad boy in a T-Rex Arms Sidecar 2.0. Uh, another goal, kind of, but their 2.0 model is great. They finally put in that flexible spine piece in the center. It has the claw on the outside to really suck the butt of that gun into your body. And not to mention just the general form factor and texture of this holster is extremely pleasing to the eye. And if you look at the top of the inlets for where you put your mag and where you put your pistol, it's even uh, widened slightly to kind of cut down on missing the holster. It has tuckable belt clips, and that means while they're on the belt, you can tuck your shirt behind them. Um, still just as quick to draw as an untucked shirt and all that good stuff. All right, that's all I have left on my SIG P365XL. I'm gonna tuck that back into my gay bag and go over to my Greenfield XD. It is a four inch, it is the duty model. Anyway, I've had this gun about three years and that's how long it's taken to get it into the form you see today. Up top, we have the DV8 Dynamic Slide. I believe it is the Raptor profile. Just more aggressive slide serrations, a little bit of venting, uh, cause it looks cool. Holosyn 507K. And down below on the frame itself, I've done quite a bit of work to it. First thing being the dragon scale stippling, because uh, it just kind of has that look to it. And I scalped where the mag release is so I can access that quicker, as well as up high on the back strap to get a full tang grip, undercutted the trigger guard, as well as installed a Freedom Smith trigger, and that boy is crispy. That is a Pistol Gear Magwell, it is the operator model. I bought it because of that name. We have the Streamlight. TLR1HL. This is a thousand lumen, so it is a little bit more of a flood, but definitely gets the job done. And what I carry this in, uh, not the most optimal first concealed carry, but doable. What started life as a TACX Pro Gear holster, which you can actually see a video of how this used to be uh, uh, way back on my channel. On the right side of it, we have what is called a mod wing. That just like the, I believe it's called a Raptor Claw on the SIG, tucks it into the belt line, pulling the very large grip with the standy handle into the body, double clips so that way it is more balanced, and I molded it out to accommodate that, that absolute hog of a light, and then cut open the top so that way the optic would uh, ride correctly. And what I have it in most of the time is my Operational Industries Level 2 Retention Holster, custom molded for this specific firearm with the thumb release retention, which is a rather quick operation. I'm still pulling sub-second draw. It has excellent retention. It doesn't come out no matter what I do. I'd probably do a backflip with it on if I was capable. So that is the holster setup for the duty gun. 
And that's all I got for you. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, uh, share if you really want to embarrass me. But mainly, that's all I got for you today here on Hobby Problems. I'll catch you next time. And so I told her, like, as a high value man with a thrusty that won't quit and a bussy that pops severely, I just feel like maybe lower your tone sometimes. You know what I mean? And, you know, she told me I was vain. And I was like, I don't understand what blood flow has to do with this conversation.